Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name's Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use 3D printing and sand casting to make a beautiful bronze dagger. To make this bronze casting, I started by making a pattern that I could use to make a sand mold. First I 3D modeled the dagger in Fusion 360, and then printed out the pattern on my FDM 3D printers. Then I went to work cleaning up and gluing together the pattern. You'll notice that this pattern was made to split in half lengthwise. This is so that one side of the pattern can lay perfectly flat on the table as the mold is being made. I spent quite a while making this pattern, but then I bought a large format resin 3D printer. These printers do an amazing job at creating very detailed models. So I decided to take advantage of that by using the resin printer to print a slightly thinner pattern which will result in a much nicer casting. After the resin pattern was done printing, I removed the prints from the build plate, washed off the excess resin and some isopropyl alcohol, and then trimmed off the support material. Then I sanded down the pattern and glued it together. Here you can see the difference in thickness of the two patterns, most notably in the edge of the blade. With the patterns done, it was time to make a sand mold. The first step in making this mold was to place one part of the original pattern face down inside the bottom part of the mold box and then pack sand down around it. By using half of the original pattern, I was able to establish the parting line, which is a dividing line between the two parts of the mold. I then removed the original pattern and then replaced it with the thinner resin pattern. Baby powder was used as a parting compound, which prevents the two parts of the mold from sticking together. Next, I filled the top part of the mold with sand and then packed it down. Once I had the top part of the mold made, I removed the sand from the bottom part of the mold and then filled it with sand again to capture the detail of the resin pattern. The sand that I used is called Petrobond. It consists of a very fine silica sand, bentone clay, and an oil binder. To remove the pattern without damaging the mold, I simply flip the mold over and let it fall out. Next, I cut a hole into the mold to pour the metal into, called a sprue, and then air vents at both ends of the dagger. With the mold finished, it was time to melt some bronze. For this casting, I used some scrap bronze that I had left over from other projects. This bronze consists of 90% copper and 10% tin. I 
I heated the bronze in my homemade furnace until it was at a temperature of about 2200 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1200 degrees Celsius, and then poured the metal into the mold. I let the mold cool down for a few minutes, and then opened it up to see how the casting turned out. Considering that this dagger is so thin, I was a little concerned about whether or not the casting would fill out properly, but fortunately it turned out great. Next I went to work removing excess metal and then filing and sanding the dagger. I covered the tip of the blade with some hot glue to keep from poking myself while working on the blade and handle. I wanted to wrap the handle with some copper wire, because I thought it was fitting considering that this dagger was made of mostly copper. I used a liver of sulfur to darken the copper wire before wrapping the handle with it. Next I drilled a small hole on one side of the handle, and then soldered one end of the wire in place. Then I wrapped the entire handle and then soldered the wire into another hole that I drilled at the base. The final step was to sharpen the edges, and the dagger was done.
I really like how this dagger turned out. And I think the copper wire wrapped handle was a nice touch. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments, and subscribe for future projects. Thanks for watching.